So these T7s will overheat on you if you're using them as the home drive. And so that's why I don't recommend using a T7. It's not about the transfer speeds. I think a lot of you aren't doing crazy video editing like I am. You just want more storage. So you think that using something like a T7 will be the way that you need to go. But these things can overheat as I was saying. So you gotta be careful with what you're picking. If you don't wanna use any of the drives that I'm speaking about today, totally you know do what you want to do but you just have to be careful and mindful of picking the right ssd and making sure you're getting one that won't you know overheat and that's the problem with these you know i use them in the field all the time it's why i have it i bring this t7 with me everywhere is extra storage because the transfer speed's okay and i can edit videos off of this no problem but when i'm on the go and this thing typically isn't plugged into my computer for 24 hours straight it's typically plugged in for the few hours that I'm editing off of this thing that I'm unplugging it. And I'm not constantly using it like you do on the home drive method. So if I could let you all know anything today, that's why I choose the drives that I specifically do when using the home drive method. That's why I wouldn't choose the Samsung T7, but I would choose drives like the OWC Express Drive and this Orico Drive. I'll have links to everything in the description below. 